take two. Eric Arnold in the sports barn. It's Saturday. I don't know what day it is. Promised you NFL picks. Here they are. I'm discouraged. I, I just another awful college day going on right now. You know, I couldn't. It doesn't matter what I say. If I say it's up, it's down. If I say it's left, it's right. You know, I cannot pick a winner to save my life. I Maybe mean, I'll do that next week. I'll just, uh, I'll just pick the picks, and if they don't win, I'll jump off a bridge. Maybe we'll do that. But here are the NFL picks. We got Seattle. See, I smashed my pointer on the previous take. I was angry. Oh, well. More junk where that came from. Well, let's see. I think we have the Bills here. I think the thinking is that, uh, I don't know what the thinking is. The thinking is Seattle has a big divisional game next week, and the Bills are a good team, and they're catching points at home. So this is kind of traditionally what we look for. Uh, we get the Falcons, Broncos. We don't think they're a very good team. Uh, the Falcons, you know, they're a bad team. So we're sticking our face in the fan here. We'll probably lose. But we'll put one star on that one because uh, Broncos coming off a big comeback win. But the Falcons are playing really well lately. Uh, two pretty impressive wins in a row. You know, this if you're going to play the Falcons, I guess this is the time to do it because they're probably out of the playoff race, so now they got nothing to lose. Oh, well, let's see. Well, we'll take the Vikings. Whoops. We'll take the Vikings. Uh, what do we got there? One star. Um, I think this is basically, you know, this is a must-win game for the Vikings. They're not that bad. I mean, they just beat the Packers uh, in Green Bay. And the schedule sets up favorably for them. They're 2-5, and five, but they've got a lot of easy games coming up. they got four out of five games at home. They very easily could run all five of those games and be 7-5 and five in five weeks. So, you know, we think the Vikings are vastly superior to the Lions, way more than four points. Vikings, very good home team against the spread, so that's the best we can come up with there. We'll take the Vikings. Um, going to take Baltimore. I think it's time for a Baltimore win. You know, they've uh, they've had a couple big losses here. You know, this was a fourteen and two team. We'll put two stars on the Ravens. This was a 14 and two team last year, and now they've lost to the Chiefs. They've lost to the uh, Steelers. So we kind of think now is a good time to catch the Ravens. Um, you know, maybe uh, maybe they're a little undervalued there. Um, it's a tough one, you know. Uh, we're not big Lamar Jackson fans. Uh, I don't think it's good when your coach is basically telling you, you're not good enough. That's why we're losing, because of you. Uh, but I think the coach is smart enough to know that uh, let's try to find some things that this guy does well, like run the ball. So I think you could see a ton of running out of the Ravens Sunday, a lot of read option, try to keep the guy from throwing the ball as little as possible. So we'll take the Ravens. Uh, the Giants will take them. Um, I don't know. It, 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 the Giants and Redskins both stink. I just think that one of these teams has recent Super Bowls in their pocket and one doesn't. So we'll take the team that has the recent history of being a good organization and the one that has Daniel Snyder we want to fade. I think that's okay thinking, but we'll see. Got to take the Cowboys in the 14 and a half. I know, I'm probably sticking my face in the fan again here with this one. But, uh, oh, we got two stars on this one. That comfortable, huh? Yeah, trying their, what, fourth, fifth straight starting quarterback now this week? I've lost track. I don't even know who it is. Cooper Rush, is that it? Gilbert Gottfried, I forget. But, um... 
Yeah, I mean, the Steelers are going such great guns. At some point, they got to take a break. I think they got a divisional game after this Cowboy game. I don't know the last time the Cowboys were over two touchdown underdogs at home. I don't even know if that happened in the bad old, uh, you know, first year of Jerry Johnson. Or, uh, Jerry Johnson. Jerry, that would make it Jimmy Jones, right? No, uh, Jimmy Johnson. I don't know if that happened in the Jimmy Johnson era or not. Um, we'll take the Dolphins. We'll take them for two stars. Right? Yeah. Hey, the Dolphins have been good to us. Uh, I, they've been uh, playing well. They've been getting Ws. They've been covering spreads. Um, why not? You know, uh, I think we're getting a little value there at four and a half points. And then lastly, we're going to take the favorite here. We're going to take Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. I think they're better than the Saints, significantly better than the Saints. And I think they're going to show it on that Sunday night. Uh, yeah, I just, all year I've been looking for places to fade the Saints. And uh, I, I don't, the first time this, the two teams played, the Saints beat them, covered but the Buccaneers were definitely not all on the same page. And I think now they're starting to click. They're starting to click. And I think this is a statement game for the Buccaneers to say, we can win the Super Bowl. So I'll lay the four and a half with the Buccaneers there. All right, that's it. Uh, politically, I guess I have to make another politics video. I'm going to crunch those numbers now and uh, try to figure out if they make any sense. Um, uh, yeah, I guess what's up is all that we're going to get here. I don't know if they're going to post any updated numbers or they pretty much dumped them out now and said, there they are. Uh, so I guess I just got to do the best I can with what's there, try to figure out if it makes any sense or not. I mean, I know I'm disturbed by stories of monitors not being able to allow to watch the counting. That's happened in Philadelphia, uh, Detroit, I guess there's word that there's a software thing that the uh, changed votes in Michigan and a lot of other states have used the same software. So I got to try to, you know, like I said, he may have just, uh, Trump may have just simply not gotten enough votes. I don't know, but we'll see. Like I said, I'll crunch the numbers. I'll see if it makes any sense and, uh, see what happens. All right. Thanks. Good. Have a good weekend.